Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still frustrated that when we're stuck in economy, we're not allowed to open that bottle we just bought it duty-free, but the pilots are fine to be up at the front eating mushrooms. What a time to be alive. Former Trump attorney Jenna Ellis is the third attorney and fourth defendant to flip on the diaper-defeated former president, striking a MAGA-tears-drenched deal with prosecutors in the sweeping criminal racketeering case. I'll be having some fun getting into elite strikeout team lawyer Jenna Ellis's plea, House Speaker Chaos, a new genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book, and more, but first, this. Of course I'm not. I've said it from the get-go. I'll spend every personal dime I have and I have. I'll borrow what I can and I did. They took away my borrowing thing because they, uh, my pillow, they have an option. My pillow is going under. Those were for retail things that we had that we don't have retail anymore. It's like any other auction. I thought it'd be like an auction. They made a national, international spectacle out of it. And that's why they, you know, starting this woke attack and cancel culture of my pillow. You canceled yourself, Mike. Also, my borrowing thing? Like, come on, don't claim to be this incredible businessman when you sound like the star crazy from the reject pile of video submissions for Shark Tank. It is pouring MAGA tears. Laugh along with the excellent people in the comments while I mock the Kraken getting released on the right-wing clown car and more. Congratulations on electing a House Speaker. He must feel so important being the fifth choice, but I totally knew he would get the votes even from the holdouts like Lauren Boebert because she's guaranteed to get her hands out for a Johnson. This is really cool. Elite Strike Force team leader Jenna Ellis joins Trump lawyers Kenneth Chesborough and Sidney Powell and bail bondsman Scott Hall. In 2019, Ellis was hired as a legal advisor to the Trump campaign, and Ellis was part of the post-2020 election legal team. How it started? And this is an elite Strike Force team. How it's going. We'll get to the MAGA tears in a second. First, let's enjoy the reading of the terms of her guilty plea. It involves five years of probation that you pay $5,000 of restitution to the Georgia Secretary of State within 30 days. And it's in my understanding that you're asking to be treated as a first offender. Yes. Do you understand that a special conditions of this probation is that you complete 100 hours of community service, that you write an apology letter to the citizens of the state of Georgia. I think Jenna's 100 hours of community service should start with her cleaning up at the dog park in a MAGA hat with bare hands that you must continue to fully cooperate with prosecutors included, but not limited to participating in interviews with prosecutors, appearing for evidentiary hearings, and assisting in pretrial matters. Thank you, Your Honor, for the opportunity to address the court. As an attorney who is also a Christian, I kind of love that the best she can do these days is hire a lawyer with a ponytail. I mean, come on, this guy's awesome, but you know, in the wrong way. And what's he doing here? Oh, good, she's standing. I better check out her bottom. What's he doing? Let me know in the comments. I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously, and I endeavor to be a person of sound moral and ethical character in all of my dealings. You cannot say you take your responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously when you teamed up with human force ghost Sidney Powell and Rudy Two Watches Giuliani to call yourself an elite strike force team and claim you're going to release the Kraken. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, I believed that challenging the results on behalf of President Trump should be pursued in a just and legal way. I endeavored to represent my client to the best of my ability. I relied on others, including lawyers with many more years of experience than I, to provide me with true and reliable information, especially since my role involved speaking to the media and to legislators in various states. Jenna Ellis worked closely with personal Trump lawyer and Borat sequel star Rudy Giuliani, another defendant in the case who faces 13 charges. Jenna and Rudy visited multiple states, including Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, where prosecutors say she urged lawmakers to reject the popular vote results in their states. What I did not do, but should have done, Your Honor, was to make sure that the facts the other lawyers alleged to be true were in fact true. Getting your facts straight is top of the agenda for a responsible lawyer, but her priority was asking for money, and she got over 216 grand from people who believed her. I think they'll get their money back about as quickly as Trump pays his contractors. Not gonna happen. In the frenetic pace of attempting to raise challenges 
to the election in several states, including Georgia, I failed to do my due diligence. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. Mega tears. Every sane person agreed it was a free and fair election, and you chose to listen to a guy who couldn't make a casino successful and someone who uses dollar store hair dye on a bald head. Jenna's plea implicates Four Seasons Total Landscaping press conference holding Just Crawl Out of the P.F. Chang's dumpster Rudy Giuliani. Jenna Ellis admitted to aiding and abetting Giuliani's false statements at a December 2020 hearing before Georgia lawmakers in which they both pushed unfounded claims of voter fraud. I look back on this whole experience with deep remorse. For those failures of mine, Your Honor, I have taken responsibility already before the Colorado Bar who censured me. And I now take responsibility before this court and apologize to the people of Georgia. Thank you. Too little, too late. And it's super frustrating to see these Trump lawyers who poisoned people's minds just getting a slap on the wrist. But you have to accept that they are just pawns to get Trump. I wish it was more severe for them. I really do. But that's the legal system. And if it means that they are fully cooperating to grab Trump by the diapers, then so be it. On her podcast, Jenna said that she's unlikely to support Trump in 2024. I simply cannot support him for elected office again. Mr. President, you said Sidney Powell wasn't your defense. Are you concerned that you won't be covered by attorney client privilege? No, not at all. I'm, uh, we did nothing wrong. We did nothing. And this is all Biden indictments and impeachments. And this is all about Biden. He can't do anything right. The only thing they know how to do is cheat on elections and election fraud. Uh, this is all by yourself, all of these indictments that you see. I was never indicted, practically never heard the word. It wasn't a word that registered. How do these people keep a straight face when he's claiming it's Biden's fault and he's never been indicted, never heard that word? I mean, to be fair, he did first claim he was indicated. Trump has done his best to distance himself from the lawyers that have flipped on him, but the receipts are endless and his base are mindless. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. As the risk of war escalates in the Middle East, Biden takes this week, once again, taking a breather with a walk along a Delaware beach, even as Israel warns of Hamas's efforts to make chemical weapons and the continued outcry over hostages being held captain by these terrorists. Being held captain. I am the captain now. She really said that. Being held captain by these terrorists. Yes, that was Kiss dressing room makeup explosion survivor Kimberly Guilfoyle upset that Biden is taking a breather and he's not doing enough. He was just in Israel. He wants to go for a walk on the beach for a few. Let him. Trump spent most of his presidency golfing and Biden can't go for a stroll by the ocean. So we have to be careful. You got to get out there and you got to watch those voters. You don't have to vote. Don't worry about voting. The voting, we got plenty of votes. You got to watch election. You hear that, MAGA? You don't have to vote. Your sweet potato headed dingleberry just said so. For those new to the show, I'm glad you found me. Thank you. For a year, I've been reading a genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book. This really is a ton of fun. I only do it once a week, and it's been pretty wild. Let's get back to it. I was crying minutes ago, and there was no hiding this since the streaks of my imported eBay mystery makeup would not be going anywhere until I got my frisky hands on some paint thinner. We slipped into a booth away from the action where Jason got out his nuts. He had been keeping a little bag of them for Mountain Dew, and we let my hamster devour the salty treats while I pulled bills from my cheeks and piled them on the table. Jason tried to count the crumpled wet cash, and from his math, it looked like we had hauled in nearly $200. Not exactly top prize, and not nearly enough money to upgrade my teeth, so he was stuck with his old corncob face hole for now. You probably know my smile since it's so cover girl perfect that when I met Donald Trump, he said my teeth were as white as the sheets at his father's meetings. But it wasn't always this way. For years, Jason with a Y would call my mouth the cheddar tooth tunnel of fun. Well, it wasn't fun being called some of that. But when it comes to marriage, you have to be able to joke with each other. Like whenever it's hot out, I shame him into wearing a tank top because nobody needs to see a back that looks like the hood of a rusty station wagon that took the brunt of a hailstorm. 
Yes, he had a collection of bumps and craters that were the trade for going the Lance Armstrong route when getting muscles. When I agreed to marry the man, I did not know that my nightly routine was going to be going Mr. Miyagi with tub after tub of Clearasil pimple pads up and down his bumpy body. I remember when I first started meeting Ted Cruz in super fancy hotels. I was so into the thick hair on his back, and that was part of our connection. He told me that when he was born in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, the socialist doctors called him the Cuban werewolf, but his parents went with Raphael, and then he went with Ted. He liked me to brush it. He found it soothing, and it was nice to only worry about snagging a crusty cruise clump with the comb instead of rupturing a roid sore with my chipped press-ons. It was like a fairy tale. If you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Boozburb's book, let me know in the comments and I'll see about reading another page sometime soon. Why don't you grow some hair, Mr. Clean? Mega tears. Marjorie is a true patriot trying to help God-loving Christina's and you are in your basement and not at all funny. Mega tears. You put down Trump, yet look who's in the WH now actually killing America and steriting WW3. Mega tears. I kind of love that the best she can do these days is hire a lawyer with a pony. <laughs> I can't, I, I just, I, I, why would you do this to your head? We slipped into a booth away from the action where Jason got out his nuts. He had been keeping a little bag of them for <laughs> We slipped into a booth. We slipped into a booth away from the action where Jason got out his nuts. He had been keeping a little bag of you hear that, MAGA? You don't have to vote. Your sweet potato-headed dingleberry just said so. Uh, I think Jenna's 100 hours of community service should start with her in a MAGA hat cleaning up at the dog park with bare hands. And it was nice to only worry about snagging a crusty cruise clump with the comb instead of rupturing a roid sore with my ch chipped press-ons. Uh, Cuban werewolf. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.